What you guys got another video here for you on how to do a clean install of Windows 11. Now, if you're using Windows 11 Home, then you will be forced to log in to uh, a Microsoft account to install Windows 11. But I'll show you how to bypass it in this video. But first, let's have a word from today's sponsor. Now, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro key, then create an account at CD Key Sales and click on the buy now for Windows 10 Pro or use the links in the video description. You can then add my promo code capital B capital R 09 and get 35% off in November. Go to the activation center and click on change product key and paste in your key, which you've just purchased on that site. Click next. And then all you need to do is click activate and you'll be able to activate Windows 10 Pro as easy as that. So check the video description for more information about CD key cells. Okay, so to install Windows 11, you're going to need to create some bootable media with Windows 11 on it. So if you head over to the Windows 11 web page, I'll leave the link in the video description and download their media creation tool. This is going to allow you to download Windows 11 and install it onto a USB flash drive so we can make a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it. So let's go ahead and open this up. You will see something looking like this. All we need to do here is let that get a few things ready for us. Say, uh, accept to their terms and conditions. Once you've done this, it's going to move on to the next stage, which is getting a few things ready. And then it's going to ask us to select our language and edition that we want to install. Now, if you're using the same PC, you can leave the tick in this use recommended options. If you're going to put it on a different type of machine, you can remove that tick, choose your language and leave it as edition Windows 11. Now we need to choose our USB flash drive. You need to have a USB flash drive with eight gigabytes or more. Then click next and you should see your USB flash drive here. Click next again and it will then get a few things ready and then start to download Windows 11 from the Microsoft servers. I will speed this process up because it does take a bit of time. So be patient and let it download. Once it's downloaded, it's going to then start to install that Windows 11 onto that USB flash drive. So any data on that USB flash drive will be erased. So make sure you don't keep any data on there. So you can see it's creating the Windows 11 media for us right now. Once this is done, we'll be ready to take it over to the computer and start to install Windows 11 on our computer. Now, if you're a Windows 11 home user, then you may run into a problem where you're going to be forced to log into a Microsoft account to set up your computer. There is a way to bypass that to get into a local account, but I'll show you how to do that in this video because we'll be installing Windows 11 Home on this system. But if you've got Windows 11 Pro, you won't need to worry about that and you'll be able to go straight into a local account. So let's assume you're going to boot to that USB flash drive. So let me quickly show you here. You're going to go into your uh, BIOS here and you can choose your boot menu to boot to that USB flash drive. So up on here, we'll see boot menu, click on this one here, and you'll want to uh, click on your USB flash drive of your choice, which has got Windows 11 on it. Yours might not say SanDisk, but mine does because that's what the USB flash drive is. It will then boot to that drive and then go ahead and start to prepare uh, the computer for installing Windows 11. So you choose your language and then click next and then go ahead and click on install now. This will set up your PC and get it ready for installing Windows 11. If you don't have a product key at this stage, you can say I don't have a product key. Now you have to choose the correct version for your product key. So if you've got a Windows 11 Pro key on your system, you'll have to choose Windows 11 Pro and so on. So once you choose your option available here, you can click on next. Now, if you get this error code here, then you haven't got your PC set up correctly to install Windows 11. This is very common uh, because Windows 11 requires you to have TPM 2.0 enabled. So you'd have to go back into your BIOS here and set it up correctly. So go into here, advanced, and then look for, you can see here, mine's an AMD processor. So I've gone into AMD FTPM configuration and I'm going to enable the firmware TPM. Now you also may say something different here if you're on an Intel based system, but you would have to make sure you enable uh, that feature there on your BIOS. I've made a video about that before. So check my playlist on how to set up your BIOS ready for Windows 11. Also, I'm going to disable CSM. 
I don't want that uh, running on here. And uh, we can now pretty much go into our settings here for boot, and then we can boot back to our USB flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this saved. So to save these settings, we need to do here is click on F10 to save your settings. And you should then have no problems of installing uh, Windows 11 on your system. But check my full video on how to check these settings for Intel and AMD systems. I'll try and leave the link in the video description so you know how to get this set up properly. Now we're going to choose to boot to a USB flash drive here. And what we're going to do here is going to boot up again. And we're going to go through that similar process. So let's get back to where we was before and we can continue with the install. So you're going to see something like this again. You would then choose your language. Uh, that you want to install and your time zone and currency and things like that, then click install now. And then when we get to this next screen, we're just going to follow what we did before. I don't have a product key. Click on this one here. Now you can choose which version of Windows 11 you want to install. I'm going to choose Windows 11 Home because that's probably the most common version of Windows 11 that people have got. So I'm going to click next here. Accept their uh, terms conditions and then click custom. To install Windows 11. Now you can see I've got one drive here on this system, but if you've got multiple drives, be careful on which ones you delete. These are partitions here that I don't need anymore, so I'm going to delete these. I can delete all of these because it says drive zero and there's only one drive in here. If you have multiple drives, you have to be careful on which ones you delete because they could be your drives with your data on them. So now we can either click new and create new partitions on that drive, or we could just leave it as unallocated space and use the whole drive and do the partitioning later on if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to click next here and get uh, installing Windows 11 onto that drive here. Now I'm going to speed this process up because this does take a bit of time, but it will go through the installation process here and then it will restart your computer. You then see the PC restart and it will continue with the installation of Windows 11. So let it get through this stage here, and then we can move on to the next step of the installation. Okay, so we're moving on to the next step here. I've not skipped any parts out, so this is exactly what you're going to be seeing uh, when you're installing Windows 11. You'll get to this stage here, and uh, what we need to do here is let this open up, and we need to now choose the right country. So I'm going to click the country that I live in, choose our keyboard layout and then we can have a secondary keyboard layout. I'm going to skip that. And this is the part where now this is one of the major differences between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. Windows 11 Home will have to have an internet connection to install it onto that computer. You can see it won't let me continue until I have an internet connection to install Windows 11 Home on this PC. A way around this is to use Shift F10 to open up a command prompt so we can go ahead and install Windows 11 Home on the system. So push Shift F10 and this will open up the command prompt and we need to put in here our task manager here so we can open up task manager. Once task manager is open, we're going to go to more details and down the in the background applications here, we're going to look for this one here, Network Connection Flow. Click on End Task, and this will basically change the installation there to who's going to use this device. And if I close these boxes off here, you'll see it's asking for a name. It's completely bypassed the um, internet connection here, which is now allowing us to uh, basically install a offline account. We don't need to use a online account now to install Windows 11 Home. And this is great. So now I'm going to say no here and find my device no. And then send diagnostic data required only. And no for improve inking and typing. And also tailored diagnostics and advertising IDs. I'm going to say no to all that stuff. And it will go ahead and continue to install Windows 11 Home on this computer. Now this is a way that you're going to have to do this installation as a Windows 11 home user because they will ask for an internet connection. As soon as you put an internet connection on that uh, computer, it's going to ask you to sign into a Microsoft account and be connected to Microsoft 
which is more data collection. And that's going to be something that a lot of people are not going to want to do. A way around this is to upgrade your license to a Windows uh, 11 Pro account. And I've got the link in the video description where you can do that at a really affordable price. So check that out um, in the video description. Now, as a Windows 11 Pro user, you can just go straight to offline account and install offline account if you want to. You don't need to do any of this stuff. But as a Windows 11 home user, you'll be forced to do exactly that to install Windows 11 home. Okay, so that's basically how you can install Windows 11 on any computer. Now, if you do have Windows 11 home and you don't want to have a local account, then by all means log in with your Wi-Fi or put your Ethernet cable in and you will then have to put in your username and password for your Microsoft account and be connected to Microsoft in that way. You can always opt out at a later date and go to a local account after the fact, but if you are using Windows 11 Home and you want to skip it and go straight to local account, that's what you do. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.